Welcome to Play Manager, revolutionary software for coaching hockey. In this presentation, we'll look briefly at some of the most important areas of the software. Play Manager's strength is in its presentation ability. With that in mind, we will start with running plays. To run a play, simply click on the Run button on the Play Browser. The play may be paused at any time by pressing the Pause button, and then restarted by pressing the Pause button again. Let us look at how we can select different ways to run a play. First of all, we will open up a different playbook. Let's open the playbook called Two Man Rushes. In order to see the plays in this playbook, we will use the playbook browser. The playbook browser is actually the third tab in what is called the object browser. We can display the object browser by selecting the view object browser command or simply hitting control B. We now have a list of all the plays in the playbook called Two Man Rushes. Notice as we select different plays in the playbook browser, the plays are loaded onto the screen and the play notes are displayed in the lower panel of the playbook browser. The playbook browser provides good access to many play oriented functions. To see what you can do, simply right mouse click on a play. Most of the functions are very straightforward. The best way to learn is by experimenting for yourself. If you have purchased the Professional Edition, you will have access to the powerful play editing capabilities of Play Manager. To check if you are using the Professional Edition, click Help About and all the relevant information will be shown. Building plays with Play Manager is quick and easy and it is also a lot of fun. First, we add the actors to our play. Let's create a new play. The next step is to define animation for the actors in your play. We are going to create a very simple play, two seconds long, by dragging actors and defining poses or positions. By right clicking, we will add two home players and a puck. To move the puck without defining animation, we will hold down the control key. To define animation, simply drag the actors. Now let's run the play. This concludes the overview of Play Manager. In the online documentation, you will find many detailed tutorials, as well as written documentation about how to use the product. As easy as Play Manager is to use, we strongly recommend you make use of all the online documentation so you will learn about the advanced features and are able to get the most out of the product. Congratulations on your purchase of Play Manager. Enjoy yourself.